Hello and welcome! My name is Daria Volkova and I can bring style to any visualization. We recently released the new version of the Volkov Labs Data Your website, where we collected and updated all of our articles in one place. Now our blog dwells side by side with our plugin documentation. Having it all in one place allows us to collect the visit statistics. My previous video was a tutorial on creating this dashboard in Grafana to display visit statistics. In today's video, I would like to share the dashboard that we ended up using in our production. It's pretty similar, so I will only highlight the differences. Let's go! Our production dashboard consists of three parts, an overview, technical details, and a heat map section. In the overview, I have a map where the country is highlighted with a color depending on the number of requests we received within the specified Grafana time range. More intense color means more requests. The gray color means no requests. How to configure such visualization? You always configure visualization panels in two major steps. Step one is data retrieval. I described this step in my previous video in great detail. In short, I use the local query, modified key value format into value format, and then apply the series to rows transformation and grow by transformation. All that gives me one data frame where I have the counts of requests per country within a specified time range. And step two is to configure the panel appearance. I select Apache eChart from the drop-down. In the Monica code editor, I start with defining the list of country names. I need it since the panel uses the full country names, not the two character codes I have in my data frame. Then I declare two one-dimensional arrays, country names and request counts. Then merge them into one two-dimensional array with the map function. This zero indicates that I work with the first query. In the return clause for the series, I have type as map and the map type is world. Data obviously requests the name of my two-dimensional array. Next, I have emphasis. It is what is displayed when a mouse hovers over the data series element. My color is red and I show the country's name and the request counts. Next, I have a visual map. It is this part on the bottom. The rest are minor things. You can find the entire code in one of our blog posts to copy and paste into your dashboard. Let's move on to this area. I skip these two stats. The request counts by status we moved to the top. Initially, we thought it had less significance, but with time we realized that we use it more often than other visualizations. We added the processing time visualization down here, and these two together are great to use as vital signs monitor. The counts by status tells us if there is any concerning number of not found requests. Having this on the dashboard helped us to fix all invalid links and other errors. Processing time shows the overall maximum latency and the latency for the 95th percentile. In the edit mode, I have two queries. In the first, I ask for the 95th percentile and in the second, for the max latency. For the panel configuration on the right side, in the tooltip section, I specify all to have two metrics shown simultaneously. Fill opacity set to 50% so I can see both bars even they overlap. Requests by pages and countries. For those, we choose bar charts instead of table visualization. The table panel gets scrolled when mouse is over and that was not great for the user experience when you want to scroll the dashboard and instead the visualization scrolls. The bar chart looks cleaner and doesn't annoy with scrolling. In the edit mode, I would like to point out to the two transformations we added for the bar chart. Sort by the field value sum and then limit 15. That would keep only the first 15 most requested countries on the visualization. In the technical part, we have two logs panels. 
they are specifically designed to display logs. On our dashboard, the log panels show details of these two not found and long requests, and also all requests with unknown to us statuses. I like opening any log record and seeing all the details like this. The heat map section. It is another technical detail that we find helpful in our everyday life. We work with people worldwide, meaning in many different time zones. Here we can see precisely what time each country is active. This heat map also allows us to evaluate our actions results like participating in a conference or collaborating with other companies. If there is any impact of the external event, we see the results right here. We know which country reacted and to what extent. This beautiful dashboard is on display in our office. In addition to all the answers this dashboard has for us, it also plays an important role. It inspires us to create and build daily because all these people are waiting. Don't forget to subscribe. It is another indicator showing your support. Thanks for watching and see you next time.